credit to our offense, you know, coming out and, and, and putting points on the board. Uh, but, you know, the game plan was to, to you know, contain number 14. You know, he's a, you know, he's a Heisman candidate, elusive quarterback, elusive guy. Um, so, you know, containing him was going to be one of our biggest keys to victory. Um, so that, that, that's pretty, pretty much how it went on the, on the defensive side. How much pressure does that put on, on defenses that you guys can go out there and, and, you know, have a drive that produces that quickly? Uh, just the, the high tempo. I mean, it gets uh, defenses, you know, tired. Um, we, we did play, yeah, and it's always hot, you know, in Houston, you know, with this humidity we got out here. So that's, that's definitely to our advantage. Um, just up tempo, you know, we do this all the time in this, this heat, uh, in this humidity, and we're used to it. So, I mean, when other teams come in here, it get pretty tired pretty fast. So we just take advantage of it. Uh, Garrett, every week, you know, you guys get to practice against a high tempo offense. So, how did that help you all prepare for this game? Yeah, I mean, like you said, um, you know, going against them, they they run around a lot and they they call them plays. You know, it's kind of unrealistic the way they do it in practice. Man. But uh, you know, we I mean, we we were used to it. So, um, you know, and it slows down. Like I said, we're, we're, they go so fast in practice, and it's kind of it's it kind of slows up in the game for you. You know, it, you can't go that fast. Um, in the game, and, and you know, it's hot in Arizona, but it's not hot like it is in Houston. I think uh, the heat kind of, kind of, you know, got to the, to them a little bit. Um, we were able to just, you know, run around, fly around, and corral the ball carry whenever, whenever, you know, we had a chance. Starting with you, Derek. Uh, just thoughts. Now the game's over. Thoughts back on your performance during the game? Six touchdowns. Yeah. Uh, we came out there. We started fast. Uh, a lot of guys making plays. The offensive line did great all game. I think we rushed for we were, I think we rushed for close to 300 yards. So that was a big part of it. And I just went out there and did my job. Derek, you've had now two games to kind of look look at the offense and against other opponents. Um, the fact that you can find so many different targets to throw to does, is that what makes this thing uh, on top of the tempo? Yeah. Just the fact that you have so many different targets that you can throw to. Yeah, um, it, this offense is great. Um, it tries to get everybody involved, uh, whether it's Keith Corbin, Marquez Stevenson, Courtney Lark, Jeremy Singleton. Uh, we're trying to get everybody touches. So just finding different ways to get our playmakers and balls is a big thing in Coach Brawl. So that's why I think it's, this offense is pretty good. Make the uh, defense obviously shut them out in the first half. Let them get a little bit in the second half there, but overall, very solid performance again for you guys. Uh, just what, what what are your thoughts as far as coming into it, knowing that you guys had to game plan against uh, Khalil and what their offense had been known to do? How do you guys think you executed that game plan? Well, we came in knowing that they got a Heisman candidate quarterback and they got a great running back and receiver. So uh, the tempo they go is fast. So we already knew that coming in. We prepared for that going against our offense in practice. So. With that, we knew what was coming, and uh, we just game plan, do what the players were gonna do. So we just were ready for whatever. Ed, what you guys did the the first three quarters? So can you just kind of discuss what the defense coming out like you did and, and holding them to, to no points there? Well, uh, I feel like we executed. We did what we were supposed to do. Um, we've been practicing uh, contain Khalil Tate all week. I feel like we did a great job. You demanded a lot of attention from the offensive line during the game uh, when you were in there. Uh, do you still get the satisfaction of knowing that you impact the game that way, even though sometimes it doesn't always show up over on the stat sheet? Yes, sir. Um, just doing my job, however I can contribute to the team, or whether that be what I got to take three guys and let everybody else make the plays, or whatever, that's my part, and that's the role I play in the team.